What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great. And welcome to an update and a new video on Solana. We'll do a full update. We'll talk about some fundamentals. I believe there was some, some very good news for uh, Solana yesterday as well, which we'll talk about. Uh, we'll go over some more uh, broad fundamentals. All right, so here you can see some, some daily active users, uh, daily transactions, total value locked, that kind of jazz. Uh, and then we'll take a look at some technicals as well. So basically, everything you need to know, I think, uh, about Solana right now, all fitted within five minutes, hopefully four minutes, but probably not. Um, but I'll try to keep it short and I'll try to keep it uh, uh, valuable. So that's what we'll do. Before we dive into that, though, I do want to briefly mention that I have my own premium trading group uh, in which you not only gain access to an exclusive chat room full of traders and uh, my trading guide. And that chat room, I believe, is like 80, 90 members right now. Uh, so pretty big, a lot of value, but you also gain access to my own trades in signals slash setups. All right. So if you're interested in that, if you want to become a, a better and profitable trader, consider joining. Links will be down in the description or the pinned comments. But for now, on to Solana. So first of all, I believe Solana actually partnered with Shopify with Sol Pay yesterday, but I actually did not read too much about that. Um, and I'm actually not sure... <laughs> I, I, I should know this. I'm, I'm very, uh, I, I know, but I, yeah, here you can see Shopify uh, with Solana Pay. So Solana Pay integrates with Shopify, which is great, great news. That was August the 23rd. So we did get some bullish momentum because of that, but this was also caused by Bitcoin. So the reaction altogether, not too great. Uh, if we take a look at Solana though, with some network statistics, so some other fundamentals, you'll see that daily transactions and daily active addresses are, are uh, whack. They're, they're not good right now, uh, or at least they're in a downtrend. They're still great compared to other uh, networks, I must say that. But the total value locked is actually doing fairly well. Like it's at, at, at around, like most networks right now, especially if you take a look at Polygon, Cardano and uh, Solana, which obviously were hit with those SEC lawsuits as well. Solana is doing fine, all right? So Solana is pretty strong. I, I do think that if you compare Solana with ADA, I'm not sure if you can do that. Yeah, I think so. If you compare Solana with ADA, it was, here you can see it, 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 it was very, very bullish and it's still stable up here. So it's very strong. Uh, but we've also seen some bearish momentum and that's partially caused by uh, what happened with Bitcoin, of course, but also just partially that the market structure for Solana definitely since we broke down below 22.5 is bearish so right now the big question is is i i expect us to drop down to 20 dollars again the big question is is can we hold that uh, 20 dollars is a very strong technical and psychological level uh, and at this point of time i do think we can hold that but it depends on certain things like for example today we have the speech by jerome powell i know a lot of information if you need to rewatch the video or something, I, I understand. Uh, but this is going to make the market move. So the most important thing today, especially on a Friday, on, on a Friday, usually Bitcoin dominance is very high. It's about what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin is able to hold 25,700, um, Solana is going to be able to hold its main support at $20. And I think, and you can already see the first signs of that right now, and I think Solana can then actually get into some sort of a consolidation between 22 slash 22.5 and $20. So at this point of time, I think that's the most likely scenario. So that means that I expect some more bearish momentum on the short term, followed by a bit of recovery slash bullish momentum up towards 22 and 22.5. I think that's the most likely scenario right now. But like I said, it's key that Bitcoin actually holds its support level. Because if Bitcoin right now drops down towards uh, 25,000 around and 24,700, Solana is not going to be strong enough to hold its own. And it's more likely then, or it's almost guaranteed, then that will drop down to 18.5 and try to set up some sort of a consolidation on top of that. So even though I do expect stability from Solana right now, I wouldn't say that it's confirmed yet. That's something I think we'll see in the next three days. So I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, but for now, that's my take on Solana. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.